Good day everyone, this is teacher Emily and today we will be discussing about understanding customer needs and wants. Here are our objectives for today's lesson. At the end of the session, you will be able to differentiate customer's needs and wants and identify the products and services that satisfy the needs and wants of the customer. To understand the customer needs and wants, let us first recall what is a need. Needs refers to goods or services that are required for health and safety. The basic needs include food, clothing, and shelter. What about wants? Wants are the things that are desirable or of interest but are not necessary for survival. These are the following. We have jewelry, luxury cars, laptops and computers, a designer cloth or not limited to travel tours. To look into the needs and wants of the customers, conduct an environmental scanning. What is an environmental scanning? It is the process of gathering and using information about the external market and the existing competitive trends. This could be done through a casual conversation with people in the community, an observation of a customer on a market research. Conducting an environmental scanning can also help to spot the threats and opportunities, improve long-term and short-term planning, thus gaining competitive advantage. Let us now discuss identifying the products, services that satisfy the needs and wants of the customer. But first, let us define what is a product. A product is anything offered to a market with the objective of satisfying a want or a need. Products are tangible, meaning to say they can be seen and felt. This refers to the objects or products that are manufactured, stored, transported, marketed, and sold. If products are tangible, services are intangible. Services are the output of persons, which could either be individualistic action or performances. Here are some of the examples of services. We have there a doctor, a nurse, a chef, an architect, a lawyer, a teacher, and many more. In order for us to satisfy the needs and wants of our customers, here are the four things that we must remember. First, we have to identify. Identify what your customers need from you through your keyword research, focus group, or social listening. After that, you have to distribute. Distribute the information to relevant stakeholders in your organization. After distributing, you have to create. Create a craft product features or create content that speaks to your customer's needs. And lastly, collect. Collect the customer feedback on how your efforts meet their expectation. Those are the things that we need to remember when putting up a business in order to satisfy the needs and wants of the customers. That's all for today, kids. So for your activity, please go back to your Schoology account and click Day 1. Then you will be directed to your activity. Please read the instructions carefully.